Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda if you are new and welcome to another video. my channel most of you may know that I talk about perfume and to the new subscribers that's mainly what I do here so on today I'm going to be talking about um, uh, some perfumes that I have from the scent for you um, it's four I have had the subscription now for four months and these are the ones that I have and so I want to talk about them on today. So they come in the packaging like this. You know, something simple. Just a little perfume inside of it. Looks like this. Most of you all may know. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Milk Expressive. I think this is the expressive one, y'all. Um, I I think when I ordered it, that's the one I ordered. But it looks like this. Let me find it. And oh, so they come in this little container. Just a little hard cardboard um, container. And you can keep them in there. But they come with a little magnetic. It opens like this. And so you will probably get one or two depending upon... Um, what it is because I've got two of these and I was thinking that it was just gonna come with one little case and you just switch them out and so you can still switch them out or you know they'll spray just like this as well so the first one that I am going to be talking about is the milk expressive and you can see that I'm thinking these are at least um, 10 mil. So it says, no, it is 8 mil. These are 8 mil, 27 fluid ounces. So, um, yeah. But hold on. Okay, so I am back. Y'all, I am trying out a new little contraption that um, holds my phone. And I don't know if I'm going to like it but because it moves a little bit. But it, I love it. I just don't know if I'm going to need to use it for videos. But anyway, let's move on. So, it's been a minute since I've sprayed this. But I do know that I like it. And the notes in here are bergamot centrist. Bergamot, cedarwood, sandalwood, eucalyptus, and vetiver. Now this is, it smells so good. It is a woody fragrance with a little spiciness coming from that, um, maybe the vetiver? Uh, it's a little citrus, you know, it has that bergamot in here, so it makes it a little citrus, just a little bit. But, um, yeah. So, it is nice. It smells really, really good. And I do like this. And I, the reason, um, I started with, um, Scentbird is because I just wanted to try some really, really different fragrances. Not, you know, we cannot have a, ah cannot have a full bottle of everything so I if I get these eight mil then you know that'll give me a chance to smell some different things some really different things that I would have to like order off the website or you know this and that it's not in um, some of these are not in Sephora they're not in Ulta. You know, I think Milk is. It's in one of them. But anyway, I just said, let me just try some of these. And I'm thinking 
because honestly, y'all, I don't remember what the price of these things are. Maybe $16 or something, but then if you um, get the high-end ones, it's like $10 more. And so most of them are, you know, like added $10. So, and I, and I didn't check before making the video. So anyway, so this is milk. The expressive one, I think. <laughs> and it really does smell good. Y'all let me know if this is, uh, judging from the notes, if this is the expressive or not. But I do believe that I ordered the expressive. It doesn't say it on the container, on the little, um, what did I do with it? No, oh, it doesn't say it on here. But um, I think it is the expressive one. And it smells really good. So the next one that I'm going to talk about is, let me find it. Let's see, what am, I, what am I going to talk about next? I have one right here. Like I said, I have four. And this is Balenciaga by Balenciaga Paris. Now, I've heard a lot about the Balenciaga, um, the bags or the shoes, um, things like that in the past. Not so much lately because... I don't really watch a whole lot of um, fashion vlogs anymore. But when I saw this on the website, I said that I wanted to smell it. And then when I went to um, Fragrantica, um, it had a lot of nice reviews. And so I got that. And once again, these are eight mils and this is Balenciaga Paris. Now the notes in here are violet, violet leaf, Virginia Cedar, Carnation, and Patchouli. So, um, I don't have a lot of things with Violet. And that was one of, another reason why I wanted to try some of these. Just to um, expand my, you know, just smell some different things. Um, and so... I chose this one, Violet, Violet Leaf, Virginia Cedar. That makes me think it's going to be a little green, maybe. Um, but on Fragrantica, I saw that Balenciaga discontinued all their fragrances. So, I don't know if these are probably on, you know, websites where, where you know, you can't go to the web to the Balenciaga website, but you may find it on Fragrance Net or Fragrance X, something like that, one of those. But um, to be honest, a lot of these, and I think, I'm thinking this was one that was $10 more. I don't know, but anyway. But to be honest, um, a lot of these are very, very different from what I'm used to and I could definitely smell the cedar but but it is nice though it is nice and actually one day it was raining right and I said what could I wear in the rain and this perfume when I went on Fragrantica two comments said that this is the perfect rainy day fragrance perfect rainy day fragrance so it is nice it's different i don't think it's crowd pleasing i think it's a little just a little bit, not even much though. It's a little mature, but I can definitely, I can see this being a signature scent because it's really not bad. So, and I can definitely smell the cedar in here. The violet, it doesn't smell powdery to me. No, that's, uh, is violet or iris? No, iris is powdery, so, but it doesn't smell powdery at all. 
So I'm going to really, I'm going to uh, make a mental note um, the next time it's raining and I have to go out, I'm going to spray this. I'm going to spray this to see how it is in the rain. Like, because I do like it. Now, would I, even if it wasn't discontinued, I would not purchase this. It's just not anything that I would pay a full bottle of. And then I didn't even purchase a price on it. And so, but it's Balenciaga. And I know that, you know, the shoes and all those things are expensive. So, mm -mm. it's nice, but not nice enough that I would purchase it. Because these days... <sighs> Except for the um, Middle Eastern fragrances, because it's kind of hard to get those samples. If I'm going to purchase something, it's going to be a love. Now, the Middle, the Middle Eastern ones I want to try, you know, and then we're not going to spend a whole lot of money on those, right? I have a couple of those coming up and some have to sit some more I believe and some are already ready to wear and those will be in maybe a couple of videos coming up and yeah so this is Balenciaga by Balenciaga Paris and it is a like not even a strong like but a like the next one that I will be talking about is oh and they come with these cards but I didn't have the cards for those two. <laughs> so I said, um, so I had to look up the notes because I totally forgot. But anyway, the next one is by Ormond Jane. Now I've seen this brand or heard this brand floating around a little bit on YouTube. And I said, I want to try something from the brand. Now this one is... It's called Amber Royale. Amber Royale is to be treasured and trusted for it is both strong and sensual, warm, but powerful. Now the notes in here are rose, jasmine, orange blossom, bergamot, and ambroxan. And yeah. So this is Ormond James Amber Royal. So let's find it and spray it. And these little things, y'all, they're kind of hard to come off. Okay, so this is the Ormond Jane. You can barely see the little writing on there, but that is her. And I've only sprayed it once or twice, I think, just to when I got it. Because you know I'm going to sample it. I'm going to smell it when I get it. And let me see. So I'm just going to spray it on this card. So Rose Jasmine. This is very... This is very strong. Orange blossom, bergamot. I smell a little citrus, y'all. This is not bad. An ambroxan. This is not bad at all. It's been a minute, so we you, so you know we get these um, once a month. And um, I think this was the third one. I think the, yeah, the milk was first. The, the one that I just talked about, which was the Balenciaga. This one. So this one came in, it's March now. This one came in February. This is not bad. I can see myself wearing this at church. And it being really nice. I like this. 
I really do. Hmm. It says, it's strong, sensual, warm, and powerful. This is good. This is good. So that is Amber Royale, and these are Eau de Parfums. So, yeah. Have you all tried anything by Ormond Jane? Mm, I like that. Y'all see me just sniffing this thing? This is really good. I like this. I like this. So, the last one is... And, oh, see, I keep forgetting things as they, um... As I pull them out, <laughs> let me sit this over here. Y'all know I'm sitting on the bed because I've been a little lazy. I didn't want to set up. I didn't want to set up, but I wanted to make a video. So I said, girl, just, hey, we can do it anywhere, right? <laughs> Does that matter? Does it matter? So they also come in these cute little pouches. All of them come. Does all of them come in a cute little pouch? All of them don't come in a pouch. This is the second pouch that I got. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna remember the next time because I'm gonna do it in quarters because I do want to complete a year. So uh, and I already have my and you know you go online and you set your queue up, and so I have my queue set up and everything. So I want to do at least twelve, and then we'll go from there. But this one, so they do come in the pouches. And this one is a new case and everything. So this one is a white case. And you see it's got Scentbird right there. And this one is Amouage Honor. So I wanted to try something from the brand. Um, I know I can go on... Um, just about anywhere and get a sample of some of these things. But I said I would just, whatever scent bird had, I wanted to try. And I'm a wash honor. I don't know when this came out, but I haven't heard anybody talking about it. It may be an older fragrance. I'm not sure. Um, right now, I mean, I'm a wash is so expensive, but you never know, you know, um, what is the one that's guidance is out now. And I hear so many mixed reviews about that one. Most of them good though. But anyway, um, they were not, they're not on my radar to test or anything like that. I just, with Scentbird, I wanted to try some, like I said earlier, that I've never tried, can't find in the stores and would just be shipped to me. So this one came in a case, so now I have two. So I don't know how many more I will get, but let's spray this again because this one probably came about a week ago. And I can still, I can still smell a little bit on here, I do believe, because I sprayed it on the card. And this smells good on the card, but it is, um, yeah. So, so what I got in my nose just now, let me, I didn't tell you all what the notes were. Yeah, because this needs to dry down. Okay. So, rhubarb leaves. And I do believe that rhubarb is in Delina, um, the original Delina. So we have rhubarb leaves. We have coriander jasmine tuberose and amber and so on the card it says a classic white flower because we know tuberose is a white flower along with the jasmine so if you don't like white florals you won't like this so a classic white floral fragrance 
The white flowers are soft and gentle, and with time, the fragrance becomes creamier, but remains fresh and warm. Okay. So right off, when I sprayed it, I don't know what that was, but it was just like, mm-mm. <laughs> But but that is gone, and so let's sniff. Definitely, this just smells like white. It, it yeah, white florals. And also, I wanted to get now. I have a couple of fragrances with tuberose in it, and I wanted to really get white flowers, white florals. Because, yeah, I have some jasmine. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, does Libre have jasmine in it? This is not bad. This is definitely sophisticated. Classy and sophisticated. mature this is a mature woman right here yeah and mature when I say mature I'm looking at between the ages of maybe 45 and 60 a woman that has lit a wise woman that has lived and honey we are able we are ready and able to tell these young ladies how to be good wives, good mothers. Yeah. This is definitely a woman that has lived and learned, honey. And she's still in P-E-A-C-E -E and not pieces. This is good. Yeah, I like this. I like it. But I don't love it. But I can... I can definitely get with it. I can get with wearing this since I have it. And you all see that, you know, this is just the second time that I sprayed this out. But, you know, even, some, even with these sometimes, um, they sit and they change because... Um, this Ormond Jane, this Amber Royale, this thing smells good. It smells good. And and when I got it, I was just kind of like, and I know that I looked it up when I got it. Because like I said, I've heard of the brand, but not this one right here. And I really can't think right now which one I heard of. So... But she's good. And I think this is unisex. I think all, if I'm not mistaken, if you all know, I think um, most of their fragrances are unisex. And I like that. But this homage honor? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honey, this is rise up and call me blessed. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is... Mm -hmm. I'm going to a banquet, honey. And let me put this on because nobody's going to smell like me in the place. Yeah, this is good. So, that is... Um, <clears throat> that is what I have from Scentbird. All that I have from Scentbird right now. And the next four that I get, I will come back and maybe four. I don't know. I might be the next two. The next two. Because I can't remember what's coming um, in April. But like I said, you set it up. You choose. And you can go back and change 
if you want to. If you see something new that they have on there, um, you can go back and change it. And I was so, so, so upset because... And the thing with Scentbird, they don't always have... Excuse me. They don't always have the fragrances. Because when I looked up Balenciaga before I got to got ready to do this video, they no longer have it on their website or the app. And when I set it up, I had Fleur, Missing Person. And y'all, what I tried to do was move it up so I could get it quicker. And it was gone off of there. Now, I was confused because I'm like, so what would you all have done when I, but I know what they would have done because I had one in my queue and they let me know that it was no longer available. Now, I don't like that, but that's how it is. And so I keep looking for missing persons to come back on there and it hadn't yet. So, and I'm not ready to buy a full bottle of that. You know what I mean? Um, I have the Duke, the Body Mist from Target. Um, and I need to check because someone said that there, a lot of people are saying that it's a spot on Duke um, for that. But I need to check to see if, it, if they have it in the perfume because they didn't when I checked twice. And so, anyway. But that is it, um, Scentbird, and it's not sponsored. I don't know. Did I have to say that? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe I just wanted to. But anyway, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Um, I try to stay consistent over here. Sometimes I do two videos a week. Sometimes I'll do one. You all know my schedule. I rotate. So sometimes it gets a little difficult. And then sometimes it's like I have a little creative block and I'm like, I don't want to just get on here and um, just things that I buy all the time. You know what I mean? Because I'm slowing down. I'm not, it's not a no buy, but I'm slowing down on the purchases. So, um, I got to get a little more creative. So I got to use what I have in house and, um, God is going to help me to, to be creative because he is our creator and look what he created me, you, how fabulous are we? Right. Um, and how fabulous is he, um, the master creator. So, it, how creative he is, that means creativity is in us. And sometimes we just have to, like, focus, wait a minute, stop, and just, okay, clear the mind and focus. And we'll get it. And that's what I'm believing him for. And one thing that um, I want to do one day is, like, vlog a little bit and see how that does. I'm like, I want to go to the store like Ulta or TJ Maxx and see how I would do in there. Um, I did that once before when I was doing a hair video two years ago. And so I want to do that again. Sometimes I feel like I just want to vlog. Sometimes I just, I feel like I just want to sit and chit chat. It's like, um, I want to keep talking about fragrances, yes, but I want to do other things as well. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but um, that's what I've been thinking about. So um, that is it for the video today. Thank you so much, like I said before, for watching. Stay fabulous. Stay focused. Um, just stay in peace. You've got this. Life is good. Find the good things in it. Um, all of that good, good, good stuff. Because if we want to, we could complain every day, right? But who wants to hear that? Really? Who wants to hear that? Everybody is dealing with something. And so 
we deal with it and we move on. It's not the end of the world. It's not, don't let it take over your life. None of this good stuff. We're, we're missing out on so many wonderful things, wonderful people in this world when we just focus on the negativity. So let's just remember, keep shining, keep smiling, dig it out. It's there. If you want to see it, you can. Um, don't be the negative Nancy. Be the positive Polly. <laughs> yeah, that just came to me. It's always a negative Nancy, but who is the positive? Positive who? Positive Patty? Positive Polly? Just be positive. Think positive. Think on good things. Think on Jesus. And just one last thing. Family, I love you all. I love you all because I know what love is now. I didn't know before. I was self-centered. It was all about me. Now that Jesus has come, I have accepted him some 20 years ago. And I have really, really just started to grasp what love really is. Why? because he loves me unconditionally. And that is how I can love you and everybody connected to me. And that includes you. And so I just want to say, if you have not gotten to know Jesus, get to know him. Because I believe, and if I believe something, I want to share it with somebody else. Everybody doesn't believe, but I believe it. I believe it and I want to share it and I don't want you to miss out. Jesus is coming back one day. And I don't want anyone that I know and love to miss him. Get to know him if you don't know him. Get to know him. He will change your whole life. I am a witness. He will change your whole life. Trust and believe. John 3 16. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever you are the whosoever. I am the whosoever believeth on him. Believe what? That he lived, that he died, and he rose on the third day. God brought him back on the third day. He got up. And if he got up, you can get up. You can get up. You can get up. Get to know Jesus. He'll show you how he will walk through this life with you. And he will never leave you. And you don't have to be anybody else but who you are. Because we're all, all believers are trying to do it Jesus' way. Because he is the way. The truth and the life. Get to know Jesus if you don't know him. I love you. God bless you. Until the next video. Bye, y'all.